still out? Yep. I kind of prefer it. She's a lot less, you know, her when she's horizontal. What did she do? She was doing laundry and she accidentally swallowed some detergent. How does someone accidentally swallow laundry detergent? Shouldn't she be in a hospital? We have an attending physician who examined her. She was on fluids. She's gonna be fine. When was the last time you guys spoke? Clinton was president. Why? Because nobody wanted to vote for Bush. I use sarcasm as a defense when I'm feeling uncomfortable. <sighs> That's a long story. In a nutshell, the Cliff Notes version. We had a falling out after I started my career in porn. She didn't like what choices you were making? In a nutshell. Well, Lena hasn't made the best choices either. Yeah, I'm beginning to realize that we have a lot more in common than I'd actually like to admit. You weren't kidding about the sarcasm. No, I was not. But that time I was actually serious. Sometimes it's really hard to tell. This also is in her first shelter. This makes the fifth, actually. You don't seem surprised. She's always been drawn to these wild men. Why is that, you think? How the hell should I know? It was just a question. What are you getting at? Lena needs some support. This also isn't her first accident. I'm here, aren't I? Are you? Sometimes I feel like I've spent my whole life underwater. Looking up at the sunlight, wondering what real life is like. Listen, Sugarboo, that's very poetic. But I would suggest you stop thinking about your life in metaphors and start thinking about your life. Did you just call me Sugarboo? Your life is real. This is real. The women who come to these shelters have nowhere else to turn. It takes a lot of strength to pull yourself out of a bad situation. It sounds like what you both need to do is get your heads out of your own asses and start showing up for each other. Who's got their head in their own ass? Sounds like one of your movies, Ryan. Someone's feeling better. Someone feels like shit. That's what you get for trying to off yourself with laundry detergent, Lena. That shit is nasty. Go fuck yourself, Lorraine. And that is my cue. Sit. Jesus Christ, I can't even kill myself. I don't think Jesus is the one to help you with that one, Mom. God, you are such a smart ass. I know. That keeps coming up. Can I get you anything? Vodka rocks? It's a wake for the entire conversation. What is going on with you? Nothing. Just a little depressed. You just tried to off yourself for what, the third time? I think that's more than a little depressed. I'm not a doctor, but... Well, I don't know. I haven't been really keeping track. Well, maybe you shouldn't. You know, you don't have any right to sit there and judge me. I'm not judging you, Mom. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> and why would you want to do that? It's a very good question. When I heard your voice on the phone, my body seized up. I like, I think I literally had a seizure. I'm not for sure, but I think so. And everything just came flooding back. Like a really bad trip. Mm, been there. That's not cute. No, it is not cute. It sucked. I had such a bad trip once. I thought the world around me as I knew it was crumbling down. All my friends' faces were green. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't... I didn't mean to hurt you, Mama. I... And I... want to help.
love you because I'm your son and that's what sons do. You're such a good boy. Oh, here we go. <sighs> Let me finish or I swear to Christ, I'll shove laundry detergent down your goddamn throat. fall into these relationships with these fucking lunatics partly because I think I deserve it. So afraid of what I thought you might become. Aside from the whole cocksucker thing, you turned out pretty good. Gee, thanks, Mom. Listen, I am here for you, okay? Whatever you need, I'm here, I am. What did it taste like? It tastes like <laughs> soap. Like what? Why? Like why? Oh, you're such a wise ass. <laughs> why laundry detergent? Ah, uh, well, why, you know, like, why use not, what like, you have. Okay, all right. It I mean, was like what was pills available. or something Just was like stop. So, like stop. Okay, yeah, stop. I don't need to give you any advice. Hey, how'd it go? It didn't suck. So when do we see you again? I don't know, a couple of days, I guess. Thanks. Just doing my J-O-B. True that. <laughs> hey. One of these days you're gonna have to forgive yourself. For what? For all the wrong choices you think you made. Don't make me come to the city and whoop your ass. Cause I will. I look forward to it. Here you are. I've been looking all over for you. You okay? Joel's wondering where you disappeared to. Is there anything I'm gonna do, a runaway? You know how men can be with their toys. I just feel like I don't even have my own life anymore, Charlie. I used to be fun and spontaneous and... do things and have dreams and shit. Just miss that girl. I remember that girl. That girl was a mess. She was fun, but she was a mess. Yeah, but she was a mess on her own terms. <laughs> Maybe this was a mistake. Letting a man love you and take care of you not a mistake, Liv. It is if you have to sacrifice little bits of yourself that you love. Well, maybe those bits that you love are exactly the things that were holding you down. And what if they're not? What are you gonna do? can you give all of this up? He gives you everything. Even the best blow. You have any left? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> we totally need a girls' night out. Oh Just my God. you and me mm -hmm. and total debauchery yes. and sin. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Oh, I haven't had blow this good since that time with Carlo in Guatemala. Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, all those different characters we used to play with those guys. <laughs> oh, Carlo. <laughs> Carlo, Carlo, go faster, faster. Mm. <laughs> all right, let's do it. God, I can feel it in the back of my throat. Thank you. Yeah. You want more champagne? Yes. If you ever do decide to give it all up, let me know. Joel is a catch and a half. <laughs> I'll be right back.
Carlo! Oh, Carlo, it's so wet in this speedboat! So we were at this party and this guy started talking to me so annoyed with the fun and glasses and like in the nightclub. Your friend is having a party. You know, this guy is so weird. I think we dated before. I'm like, to you? I don't think so. Baby, you're back! What the fuck are you doing? I didn't know what time you were coming home from your family emergency, so I invited some friends over. This is Josh, and this is, what's your name again? Marco, this is Marco. We're hanging out, partying a little. Hey, I miss you. Where do you go? Get out. Hey. You want some tea? Take your drugs and your fucking friends and get out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, sure. 